what we found was that there's been a, a, a drop off in the money that's reaching the north. Um, in 2003, we had $10 million worth of funding coming into the community. In 2004, when Mr. Angus was elected, that dropped uh, down to less than $4 million. In 2007, we received less than uh, $3 million. However, $2 million of that was given to Neonet, and that went region-wide, not necessarily in our riding. Uh, last year, this year, we got $4 million that was given just in August, pre-election, uh, and uh, you know, I sort of liken that to uh, the money that the manufacturing sector got down in southern Ontario, uh, you know, just to sort of grease the wheels coming into the election. Um, so, you know, what we're seeing is that uh, we we have dropped off in the north. It is important for our infrastructure and for our communities, and we need to get back to uh, making sure that uh, what's due to the north comes to the north. Uh, now, a lot of people will say that, uh, you know, we're we're doing okay. Uh, it's hard when you're in opposition to get that kind of money, uh, but I would point to the riding just south of us where Anthony Rhoda, uh, the Liberal, is a member of Parliament. And over the last two years when he's been there, he's gotten an average of about uh, 6.3, 6.4 million dollars. And our average is down around 3.5 million dollars over four years uh, since Mr. Angus has been in. So, I, you know, nobody's denying that, uh, that Mr. Angus is a good MP, that he's trying hard, that he speaks up for Timmins, but uh, we're not just, uh, Timmins, James Bay, pardon me, but we're not just seeing the results. That's the, that's the big difficulty that we're having right now. Um, you know, I was in Cochrane last week, uh, Polar Bear Heritage Village, uh, Polar Bear Habitat and Heritage Village, they want to expand. Uh, they've got a, an important collection there that they, they want to uh, uh, sort of take on and uh, you know they're just not getting the funding they need to expand that and uh, you know that's vital to uh, uh, the survival of that community which is you know being struck by hard times right now so uh, what we'd like to do is uh, try to uh, try to ensure that that funding comes to uh, Tim and Jane Bay.